Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to compress a video file without losing any quality um, on a PC or laptop. If you find this video helpful today, please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So to do this, we're actually going to be coming across to a website which is called Handbrake and this is uh, by far, in my opinion, the best one to use. And you need to come across to handbrake.fr. Uh, just a heads up, this is completely free and it's an open source video transcoder, so no problems there. What you need to do is if you're on a Windows PC, you need to click this red button. If you're using something like Linux or a MacBook, just click other platforms underneath. And that's going to come up with all the versions. So today I'll be downloading the Windows version. So I'm just going to go ahead and download that. You can see that started downloading. It's a relatively small file, it's only about 12 megabytes. So it won't take too long to download. Then once that's ready, we're just going to click that to open the install wizard and then click run. When the permission comes up, you just need to click yes. And then we're just going to go through and install this. It just takes a moment or two to go through the process. So that's all ready to go. So what we're now going to do is open that up. So I'm just going to come down and search for Handbrake and then click the app to open it. Okay, so once you've opened it, this is the screen that you're going to be presented with. So what you can do is open the file or you can drop a file or folder directly into the program. So I'm going to do that now. So what I'm going to do is just come across to my videos. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on to... Uh, this one here, how to change your age on Roblox. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop this into the handbrake. And you'll see it's just taking a moment there to scan the title and get that imported. So there's a couple of things you want to do. Under summary, you want to change the format. So under summary, and if you look at format, you want to click this box here which says web optimized so this is going to make it better for um, web-based applications like for example YouTube then the next one you want to come to you can leave most of these at the default settings but the next one you want to come to is the video tab so what you need to do first is change the frame rate so it should be set at around 30 you want to change this to 60 and you want to change underneath it says peak or constant so you want to click the constant frame rate and then if you come to the right hand side over here you've got like a little uh, bar where it says quality constant quality what you want to do is move this to the left two times to get to 23 and that's it basically then all you want to do is leave everything else same you don't need to worry about like subtitles or the audio anything like this you can just leave and if you look at the top, you've got the start encode button. So just go ahead and give that a click. So you can see that's now started to uh, compress the file down. That's just going to take a moment or two. You can see it's uh, got a rough time remaining. So it's going to take about five minutes. So what I'll do is I'll leave that run and come back when that's finished. Okay guys, so I am back and that has now finished. You can see it's come up there saying Q finished. Um, so what we're going to do is locate this video first of all. So it's under my videos and it should be in there. So let's go ahead and have a look. Okay, so here's the video here, how to change age on Roblox. We go onto the properties you can see that currently that shrunk it down to 11 megabytes if i come back to the original video which is this one and click onto the properties you can see it was 15.3 megabytes um so it does reduce it down and so as you can see i've got the two there this is the before 
which is 15.3 megabytes and this is after um, 11 megabytes uh, with bigger video files it does reduce them down a lot more um, but yeah that's the best way to do it and when you play it you're not going to lose any quality at all if you found this video helpful today please leave a like and drop a comment below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you do want to help support the digital duty channel there is a link in the video description down below if you go and give it a click you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one